Hello and welcome back to the Let's Play of the Longbards in Attila Total War. Uh, with me, your host Andy. So um, we are still besieging the city of Kusurgis, um from the of the Markomani. Um, and actually, I can sense an impending uh, public order crisis right here. Um, it is not in our best interest to continue this siege for too long and uh, since we have um, only one more turn let, let us finish that and, um, and I think we'll uh, begin the, the assault uh, in our next turn There is a time when warriors must sheath the sword and talk for the good of their people. No, I will never accept a peace with you, Marco Mani, my most hated enemy thus far. It's a, it's a vital to import. Uh, it's vital to uh, to mention thus far because. Uh, we will surely hate a lot more people than the Markomani. So, the lay of lay of uh, Ibor continues. In saving the priest's life and slaying the bandits, Ibor proved himself to be a manifestation of Godin, the god who holds life and death in one mighty palm. The priestess considers it her sacred duty to guide Ibor and enhance his destructive and healing powers by mystical means. However, unlike Godin, Ibor must choose one path to tread. Which will it be? Destruction. By slaying the evil before it does harm, a healer will never be needed. Or healing. Any man may take life, only the great may give it. Hmm. I feel like destruction is more of a post 9 11 Bush Doctrine kind of approach to life, while healing is sort of a. Sort of a another way. So let's do healing. I'm excited to see what kinds of effects these uh, choices will have on my campaign later on. Saxons are trespassing. Public order minus one. That is not good. But we have developed a new technology which is good. Now let's continue on to the Roman logistics system because I feel like uh, uh, replacing the Germanic band with the Germanic war band will have uh, a lasting effect, a uh, lasting pop positive effect on our campaign. Um, so now that we have finished building our siege weapons, I think it's time to assault the city actually while we have the upper hand and before we uh, uh, enter a public order crisis in our in our city. So let us uh, let us assault. Now, I hate attacking in foggy weather, so hopefully we will be granted uh, dry weather. Good, thank you, Godan. So, let's check this out. These are our enemies' walls. We have towers, but we do also have catapults. 
So I think that that we will barrage them with some, with some catapult fire um, to be to begin with. here. Um, their towers have a range of this far, so we would like to stay out of this area. However, we can also use our own archers, uh, flaming arrows, to take down their towers. It will take some time, but it's a smart strategy if, um, if you have nothing else. But we do have something else, so we, we, can, we can just settle with waiting um, as of now. Now we have archers here as well, so I'm wondering if we can use them to our advantage. There's a river here that we cannot cross, so we will have to run all the way around it. It's a big... Uh... Can we run around it? Run around it even? Where's the crossing? There, okay. Um, unless there's somewhere else as well. Here, actually. Great. Very good. Well, let's get back. Now you will notice that I uh, use the graphics enhancement mod and by pressing the L button I will enable this blur effect here which I personally love uh, because it sort of gives a huge depth of a field effect um, but it's not for everyone and, it, and it's definitely not uh, a tactical improvement. can see the graphic details here are just uh, amazing. Did we destroy the gates? No. There we go. I think I like to destroy their towers as well because I do not want to be hit by those. This is our faction leader, as we can see his model is exactly the same as the one on the campaign map and it is just beautifully, beautifully made. Um, you can see the detail just so clearly, it's uh, astonishing really. And 
There we go. Well, it doesn't look like we need our towers anymore. So I think, um, I can't see why. Maybe we can use one. But the rest. Archers force as well. And uh, as you might know, a new feature in Attila is the, the settlement damage mod modifier, which means that the more you destroy of an enemy uh, settlement, or the more that is destroyed uh, of your own settlement, the more penalties the defenders will have. So we see that the enemy's settlement now has a settlement damage of 32%, which actually gives them quite a huge penalty um, in the morale, melee attack, and melee defense. Let's see here. It seems I, like our enemies have simple troops here. Light skirmishers. And they can fire on us right now. So let us move out a little bit. Treasure skirmishers can actually meet them out there. Come out to meet them to meet us. Attack these bowmen. The if I'm not mistaken, we're also able to set fire to their gate by um, using fire arrows on it. See the fire damage increase as the fire arrows are coming in. Not by a lot, but it's by some. Begun. Let's uh, move our other forces up there.
understand why our uh, clubmen cannot uh, enter the settlement yet. It's weird. like we will have to um, use the new feature here and actually just uh, go for the walls go for the, the gate I mean seems like our enemy is uh, doing a well job in defending their settlement now might inflict some damage on them. And I probably should uh, move my general in as he will have a, a good impact on our troops morale. lucky that this is only a small settlement so that it does not have boiling oil uh, on their gates. If they did, we would be in a lot more danger. Seems like we are able to uh, route the enemy quite well here. Managing to enter the settlement.
looks like we're winning the battle for the gate on this side. We see our banner has risen and we captured uh, the gate. Which I believe will give our troops a morale bonus. broken as of now. We need to chatter them for them not to return or have the option to return. try to uh, take out these chargers. These are they are very annoying right now. Those bowmen are light infantry, which means that we will not be able to to reach them with our medium or heavy infantry. Oops, and our own light infantry on them. In Attila, as you just saw, when you capture a, um, a, uh, a capture point, the enemy's towers will just simply cease to exist. Which is uh, kind of lame, actually, as... Uh, well, I feel it's better to be able to actually capture the, the towers and then gaining uh, the tower's advantage yourself. But... Um, no, sadly. A 
Now let's head for the town square. I think that's where their general is hiding. We have actually captured most of this uh, settlement by now. I think we'll just attack them. There's a victory. Hurrah! And with that, I think we will say that this battle is over. Now I think I will choose to occupy this uh, city um, because I am more of an empire builder rather than a sacker, at least of uh, this point in time. So with the Longobards, if I, I might be wrong there actually, <laughs> no, no matter. And uh, then the Markomani are destroyed. Thank Godin for that. I hated those people and good riddance well thank you so much for watching uh our let's play is over for this time but i will soon be back and i hope you will be too